Pune to Nasik in less than two hours might not be a dream anymore. Yes, this is finally happening. Years of dedication and perseverance of Central Railway along with MRIDC has gone into this dream project. MRIDC has appointed Monarch Consultant Pune to prepare a detailed project report for this project. By road, Pune and Nasik are connected via NH60. This distance of 212 km takes about 5 to 6 hours journey due to heavy traffic on the corridor. By rail, all trains between Pune and Nasik go via Kalyan or commuters have to travel to Manmar and then take a train to Nasik, spending more than 6 to 7 hours in travelling time. This makes travel between Pune and Nasik very tough and it's time consuming. But this rail line will be a game changer and will connect Nasik to Pune directly through tracks. With 13 crossing stations and 11 flag stations, Pune to Nasik via Chakan, Manchar, Sangamner, Sinnar will not be a regular train journey, but an unforgettable first of its kind semi-high-speed rail experience in India. This project will be important for making travel easy and satisfying. It will boost tourism as this route will connect many spiritual, religious places and tourist spots such as Bhima Shankar Jyotirlinga, Ashtavinayak at Ojhar and Lenyadri and Pabal Jain Temple. And it will be easy for tourists to reach these destinations. This will improve the revenue generated by tourism. The industrial areas in Chakan, Rajguru Nagar, Ranjangao which are a crucial source of revenue for the local economy, will enjoy better connectivity with marketplaces. The Pune Nasik proposed rail line originates from Pune Railway Goods Depot. Elevated station building has been proposed on south side of existing Pune Railway Station. At Harapsar Station, an elevated corridor is proposed on platform number one. Afterwards, the corridor starts gradually descending between Harapsar and Manjri and meets ground. The proposed corridor with a total length of 236 kilometers crosses 19 viaducts, 26 major bridges, 140 minor bridges, 41 road over bridges and 128 road under bridges in all. It also crosses 18 tunnels with a total length of 21.68 kilometers, where the longest tunnel covers 6,640 meter distance. The estimated cost of this project is 16,039 crores. 3,208 crores each will be funded by Railway Ministry and Government of Maharashtra and remaining 9,623 crores will be raised through bank loans and equity. Semi-high speed rail will make passenger and freight transport faster and safer. Agro-based manufacturing industries will get a bigger market to trade their products. The railway line will be directly connected to the proposed international airport at Pune. So, agricultural and other cargo products can be sent through cargo terminals for export to other countries. The project will create about 25,000 direct or indirect jobs in a 1200-day construction phase. So, enjoy this unimaginable train experience which makes life easier by connecting difficulties through tracks.